Hello, dear listeners. This is Dr. Laura Whitman. Freud and I'm Mark. We'd like to welcome you all to the Memory Cherish podcast. Always a pleasure to be chatting with you folks. And today we've got a topic that's close to both our hearts. Wouldn't you say, Mark? I sure would, Laura. Lovely folks, not too long ago Laura and I got to reminiscing about the friendships we've made over the years, and we quickly realised how much joy and life these relationships have added to our lives. Ain't that right, Laura? Absolutely, Mark. And you make a good point. Friendships have really been a lifeline at different stages of our lives. With that in mind, we wanted to chat today about making friends in our golden years. Golden years indeed. Now, what's that old saying again, Laura? Ah, oh, yes, words of wisdom here, folks. Old friends are gold and new friends are silver. <laughs> they sure are, Mark. And no matter silver or gold, these friendships always enrich us and our lives in heartfelt ways. Now, our listeners, especially those who are more, shall we say, seasoned like ourselves, might be thinking, where and how do we make the silver friends? Well, so that's definitely a good question, Laura. And now I was also wondering, maybe I could still strike gold with new friendships? Absolutely, Mark. We can still find ways to make new friends. Encouraging social connection can do wonders for our well-being, after all. Growing older doesn't mean we stop enjoying good friendships. Couldn't have said it better myself, Laura. Now, because of our age, some may think our chances of finding new friends narrows down quite a bit. Ooh, but really, we're in a prime position to strike up new connections. Senior life offers an array of opportunities. With free time and a wide array of interests, we can meet more like-minded folks at community centres or even organising neighbourhood get-togethers. Absolutely, Laura. Actually, my neighbour Mabel. Now she knows how to throw a good old country gethrin. Well, I reckon it's always a good time at Mabel's, huh? Don't forget to invite me next time, Mark. Speaking of getting social, many of our listeners might have experienced a change in dynamics when it comes to friendships as we grow older. That's true, Laura. Time changes many things, but the essence of forming connections remains. The same heart-to-heart -heart chats, companionship and being emotionally present. And maybe appreciating those silvers and golds comes with understanding the dynamics and adapting to the changes of the season. But tell us more about your neighbour Mabel and these get-togethers. Well, let's start with those mouth-watering apple pies of hers. Besides those, there's also the warm and welcoming atmosphere. They're quite casual, you could even say soothing. Ah, those long chats, storytelling and reminiscing. And laughter, oh, so much laughter. Sounds simply delightful. I can already picture the warm lighting and the counter lined with apple pies. But addressing our listeners directly... I imagine that's something that many of you might miss, those gatherings with friends just chatting away. Yeah, Laura. I reckon many of our readers might miss those gatherings, too. Right you are, Mark. But here's what we feel. It's never too late to start new traditions, pursue new interests, and along the way. Sprinkle a little bit of silver onto our golden years... So let's get deeper into this and explore some ways on how to brew up some fresh friendships. That sounds just about right, Laura. Let's do this tea time style, simmering and steeping till we have a comforting cup of a companionship precisely to our liking. Perfectly put, Mark. And of course, brewing and steeping takes a while, just like genuine friendships. Just like it takes patience to get that perfect, comforting cup of tea. Building friendships needs a bit of that too, don't you think, Laura? Precisely, Mark. Along with lots of kindness, small gestures from the heart can go a long way. Whether it's lending an ear, being there in tough times, or just standing by each other. Say, like a comforting, unspoken well, telepathy. Like a warm muffler on a cold Midwest night, friendships should leave you comfortably warm and snug. Love how you put it, Mark. Now, friends, we'd love to continue this warm conversation on why maintaining these friendships is so crucial for us, folks.